G'day, you got Mark from Aussie Heads and Race Engines here. Um, what we've got here is a little Nissan SR20 DET. Um, they're in all your um, 200 SXs, your Pulsars, you know, your S13s, 14s, 15s. This is an S13. I've got a uh, S15 to do after this one. Um, so what I've started to do when I um, do my port work on these, especially the turbocharged ones, we um, muck around with the chambers a fair bit and what I've done is marked them out, I've painted the head black it's just black, normal black paint let it dry off and I've stuck the head gasket on and lined it up with the dowel holes in the, the head put the dowels in it and then scribed around the outside of the ball binder and what I've done is cut the seats and then also relieved the chambers now what I do is I cut the seats, I've got a special cutter here if you can see I don't think you can. It's, there's actually three angles on that. There's a 6 degree angle, 45 for your seat, and a 30 for the top cut. So you actually get your angles in there, spit over this bloody light. Anyway, after I do that, I come down the side of the chamber out to the edge of the ball binder to give you a bit more relief around the edge of your valve for better flow. And that's got a nice little radius on it and it's a nice little 15 degree angle down there so that acts as the top cut so we got that then we got that and then I run my threading tool down so that's our fifth angle at 70 degrees so we can just sort of no, I can't really show you but there is five angles there and as you can see they're blended right out to the, the chamber there so you got plenty of flow what I'm going to do now is um, just go around and decompress the chambers, leave them out here so you get better flow around your valve and these things have a compression ratio of eight and a half to one standard <clears throat> we've decked the block and that, all the block's been um, all assembled up um, with all its new forges and everything and I've worked out we've got a compression ratio now about 8.62 with the decking of the block so what I'm going to do, these are standard 45.3 cc's in the combustion chamber volume so what we're going to do is we're going to open up to I want about around about 50 that'll drop us down to near 8.1 so if I take um, take them out to about 53 or so by the time we machine the face of the head um, before we go to put it together that'll bring us right up to where we want to be um, I like decompressing the combustion chambers on these closed ones for the turbocharged things not only you get superior flow around your, your valve which is going to give you a heap more torque and power um, by decompressing it we can actually shove more boost turbo boost at the engine without running into tuning um, difficulties especially lean outs and that that's how guys detonate engines and blow top ring lands out and stuff so by decompressing it we can you know shove a good amount of boost up it and uh, be on the safe side of our uh, engine expor expiration so um that's about all for now so what we'll do i'll um just go and start bringing these back by hand and um i've marked out my ports that's how much you've got to come out of the exhaust ports there there's not much out of the inlet side of the things there's only just a little bit but i've got the throttle body so i'm going to port match the throttle bodies to the um, to the head and she'll be good so that's it for now a bit of five angle seat work and that's all from Aussie Heads and Race Engines catch you later